We talk a lot about the ski resorts and the skiing conditions in the Sierra, but I want to spend a little bit of time talking about all of them, literally all of them. I'm going to spend some time talking about each and every resort that you see here because I've been to many of them and I would like to go to all of them so I have either good first-hand knowledge or very good second-hand knowledge of all of these spots. Just so you know, I'm going to go through this in detail alphabetically, so if I'm talking about some place you're not interested in, just skip ahead to the place that you want to know more about. Let's go ahead and start off with Alpine Meadows. Alpine Meadows is an amazing mountain and it was known as the locals mountain for a long, long time. Squaw Valley acquired it. You can now ski both places for the price of one lift ticket, but Alpine Meadows has been able to retain its local flavor. It's got a great little zone in the, in the lodge area down below and a lot of historic places to hang out, places to eat, places to have beverages. It's all very low key with amazing terrain, all from the bottom. So this is between Truckee and, and Tahoe City off 89. It's right next to Squaw Valley. And again, you can go to both resorts. You take a shuttle transfer in between if you want to. And over time, they're gonna build that gondola. They've talked about it forever, but it's gonna happen at some point soon. So you can go back and forth skiing between the two areas, Alpine Meadows. It is a classic, it is amazing, highly recommended. Get after it. Then we've got Bear Valley. This is such an interesting and great spot because not a lot of people have heard of Bear Valley or been there, but I highly suggest you get there because it is a low key, awesome spot to have a great time, especially for families. You go right up Highway 4, which is a very well maintained road. It's very easy to get there. It's low stress and you go through Murphy's, you go through Arnold, you go by Calaveras Big Trees. It's a very famous state park with sequoias and then you get to the top. Now Bear Valley is, is an area uh, of homes that you actually need to take a snowmobile to get to but they've got an awesome lodge, one of the best lodge lobbies you'll ever see with a huge fireplace. It's amazing. It's one of the few places to stay around there unless you rent a condo. But then once you get to the mountain, you're actually going to end up in the middle of the mountain. There's amazing terrain right from the base, an awesome place to eat, have lunch, very family oriented. And then there's a whole bunch of terrain on a good snow year that's down below that. So just when you're getting to it, it doesn't look like you see all that much, but there's a the backside, there's the front side, and then down below, they've got a lot of terrain. They get a lot of snow. Bear Valley is a good spot with a very easy drive up Highway 4. Boreal is one of the easiest drives and one of the best places to get to very quickly from the Bay Area or from Sacramento because it's right off 80. You go up to the top, it's right off the side of the road. You can see it. Now for terrain, you know, it's not that big. They do have some expert areas, but they've got a lot of intermediate and beginner. And what they focus on a lot, especially lately, is the terrain park. A lot of kids just want to get right in the park and that's basically all they want to do. They've got the Woodward training. They've got the half pipe open earlier than everybody else, usually and later, because it's a training ground for people and for kids that want to learn tricks, that spend time in the park. Boreal has spent a lot of time focusing on that and also for families that want to get up to the mountains and then get back down to places like Sacramento. Diamond Peak is near Incline Village. This is a smaller area. It's mostly a, a lot of locals, but you know what? On a good snow day, there's so many different options. Some people may want to go here. They usually always have lift ticket deals. The ski team is very well known. And again, for it's not a huge area, but it's got the terrain. And if you just want to poke around on a good snow day, uh, Incline Village and Diamond Peak is re really one spot that a lot of people go and have a good time. Also amazing views as well. Dodge Ridge is up Highway 108. It's been open since 1950. This is a great spot. Personally, I have not been there. It's on my list. It's been on my list for a long time. And this is one of the easier spots to get to from Modesto or from Stockton. You go up 108, you go past Sonora, Twain Hart, just keep on going, Strawberry, and then Pinecrest, and then it's right in the back there. And it's pretty high. It goes all the way up to 8,000 feet. So they get a pretty solid amount of snow. They've got expert terrain. They've got a lot of beginner terrain. And it's really isolated in that one spot. So it's really, you just go up the road, have a good time, and then you can get back down to the valley if that's where you live. Uh, Dodge Ridge is a great spot that I can't wait to get to someday. Donner Ski Ranch is one of these low-key places that's been there a long time. There's not a huge amount of terrain, but sometimes that's all you want, especially for families or for kids or learning how to ski. They've got great packages to learn how to do that, plus a tubing area that's awesome. Plus, they have this whole backside that nobody even knows about. It's right next to Sugar Bowl. There's a bunch clustered at Donner Summit, and that's one of them, Donner Ski Ranch. What's this big G behind me? This is a secret spot called Grand Labac, and now it's a resort. It's been there forever. It's near Tahoe City. It's right off the road. It's, it's in town, basically, and nobody knows about it. So most people stay there, they play in the snow, and then that's it. But they've got a lift, they've got a ski hill here, 
And this looks old because that's the, that's the whole point of Gronlebakken. It's a traditional family resort in the Tahoe area where you're spending time at the lake, you're skiing a little bit, you're sledding a little bit, you're learning how to ski, you're having fun with the kids. It's a family-oriented resort, Gronlebakken near Tahoe City. I spent New Year's there. It was an awesome time. Heavenly is one of the big ones. This area is huge. It's more than 4,000 acres. It spreads over two states, and they've got everything. They've got crazy expert terrain. They've got crazy tree skiing. They've got uh, this whole resort experience at the bottom. The village down below, you can go ice skating. There's places to eat, to drink, to hang out. You take the gondola. You are instantly at lake level all the way up into the thick of it. And they've also got uh, roller coasters in the snow. I mean, this is a huge thing that you can get to and enjoy anything that you want. Sometimes with a the family, there's people at different levels. Some people can, they really know what they're doing ski-wise or they are just learning how, or maybe somebody doesn't ski at all. Heavenly is a place, South Lake Tahoe, you really can't get it all fit in. And also, it has amazing views of the lake at the top. A lot of the photos of skiing at Lake Tahoe are taken at Heavenly or Homewood. Homewood is more of a low key spot. It's kind of a, lo a locals area near Tahoe City. It's kind of out on its own. It's got amazing terrain, tree skiing, all the way down to the lake, and this whole upper area where you can go cat skiing. Cat skiing seems like this exotic thing that you do in Canada or far, far away, but you could actually do it in Lake Tahoe. That's the thing that they've been trying to get up and going for, uh, for a while, so that's an option as long as there's enough snow and they uh, have that available to you. Kirkwood is a spot that always gets a lot of snow. It's really high up, and look at the terrain. I mean, look at this stuff. This is steep, expert terrain with a lot of beginner stuff mixed down in the mountain village. Now, Kirkwood up 88 is kind of in its own own zone. So usually you're just going to Kirkwood and then you're coming back or you can stay in South Lake Tahoe and make the drive over. It takes a little bit longer but the snow is always there, the terrain is always there and it's more low-key than a lot of other Tahoe spots. Just kind of depends on what's going on with the snow but that's one. Always check on the roads by the way. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to clear on out. We've got Mount Rose and you can see their main emphasis of advertising. This was mostly known as the Reno Resort because a lot of people go to up from Reno hit up Mount Rose and then go home because it was so close. But you know what? It's so high up on years that are challenged by snow, they can get it early and sometimes they're able to be open uh, earlier and later than some other places just because of the elevation. Expert terrain, they're op planning on opening more. Mount Rose is a spot that's getting more and more well known in the Tahoe region, even for the locals. North Star is an amazing spot near Truckee that has a lot of good tree skiing, a lot of good beginner terrain, and it's another thing kind of like Squaw Valley or kind of like Heavenly where they have this whole village experience as well. And if you want a, that luxury experience, you can get up there to the Ritz-Carlton, that's at Mid-Mountain, tree skiing, moguls, bigger than you think, North Star, and good on a storm day because it just doesn't get as much wind as some of the more exposed spots. Sierra Tahoe is very well known for tree skiing, their beginner program, lots of lift deals, and it's easy to get to up Highway 50. If that's your zone, if you're in El Dorado Hills, Folsom, or you want to go up to just take 50 up with an easier drive, you can hit up Sierra at Tahoe and get home fairly easily without a a whole lot of steep mountain driving. They have amazing terrain. I had one day there that was just epic and I absolutely love it. Soda Springs is one of these spots that is right in that cluster of resorts at Donner Summit. And you may not have even heard about it. It's not that big, but it's been there for a long time since the 30s. They've got a couple lifts. They're doing a lot with snow tubing. They've got amazing deals. If you're learning how to ski or you want to take the kids up, you can save a little bit of money and it's right off highway. Uh, it's right off I-80. You can get there, have some fun and then get home. Now, Squaw Valley is one of the big ones, folks. This is well known because it had the Olympics in 1960. Anything that you want to do, you can do at Squaw Valley. Now, it is busy, but it's busy for a reason because they've got beginner terrain, they've got the tram, they've got the Funatel, they've got tree skiing, they've got insane as crazy and as scary as you want terrain up high. Uh, with the Palisades, and it, it just goes on and on and on. They get a lot of snow. It's a huge, huge area, and they've got the whole uh, village at the bottom, which is really incredible and a fun place to be at. Sugar Bowl gets a lot of snow. It's right at the top of Donner Summit. It's been there for a long time. It's very historic, and you can see all of the terrain. This is one of those spots that's a little bit more low-key often uh, compared to other places, although because it's at the top, it can be windy at times, but it gets a ton of snow, expert terrain, places to learn. It is a good place, and it, it has a lot of historic value. It's been there forever, and it's just a very unique experience. Sugar Bowl is an awesome mountain. And then Tahoe Donner, this is the last one, folks. Uh, this is a kind of an underground place because it's in, it's, in a, it's in a development called Tahoe Donner. So a lot of vacation homes up there. Some people do live there, but you know what? They've got a couple lifts. 
They've got a great lodge at the bottom. They've got cross country skiing, and this is an awesome place when Tahoe is really busy. You can usually go over here and find a lot of locals. It's low key. They get plenty of snow and that this is a good place to have a good time without a lot of the crowds. Tahoe Donner is basically right in Truckee, and that's the last resort. So again, we do have a lot of options, 17 of them in our local area. That's a little bit on each one of them. What's your favorite resort? What's your favorite spot to go? And did I miss anything? <laughs> Leave them in the comments down below.